More than five decades ago, in 1969, Nizamuddin Hussein and his brother Arthur were found guilty of one of the UK's first high-profile kidnappings for ransom. Their intended victim was Anna Murdoch, then wife of British media mogul Rupert Murdoch. But the brothers bungled the kidnapping and instead snatched Moriel Mackay. For 40 days, police searched for the kidnappers, who were keeping Muriel hostage in a farm owned by Arthur. And although they were arrested, charged and convicted, Muriel's body was never found. Arthur died in a psychiatric facility in England in 2009. Nizamuddin spent 20 years in jail and was deported to Trinidad on his release. Now he's speaking out. Several weeks ago, he reportedly told Muriel's surviving relatives he knew where her body was buried in what he describes as an emotional conversation with Muriel's daughter, Diane, via Zoom. I don't know how really to describe that. Shocking. Heartfelt. You know, I felt a deep emotion inside. My mom had been the same way. Having served his sentence, Nizamuddin returned to Trinidad in the 1990s, and he lives in his family home in Kuva. He is now 73 and claims to be in good health. But he is denying he ever told the Mackay family he could pinpoint where Muriel's body was buried. That is my job, Scott Dice Scott, and your job. And so many years now, I can't wreck and wreck my brain to find out where, where a pin drop in the haystack. And up in the he claims not to know where the body was buried. I was on the fringe, you know. I, I wasn't involved too deep in, it, in whatever. It had other people involved. That never came to court. The names never came up. You know, whose name I choose to forget, you know. While the Mackay family hopes he can shed some light, Nizamuddin has other things on his mind. So if they're going to do the search, I do anyone alive. Right. My brother has died and gone his way a long, long time. Right. So, yeah. They charge me for, um, what? Demanding a million, million pounds. Tell Scotland Yard if they have five million, they could come and talk to me. If they have that, don't worry. Attorney for the Mackay family, Matthew Gale, says he can prove Nizamuddin revealed the location of Muriel's body to him. I wouldn't have told you that um, he'd given me this information if I couldn't prove it. Um, in fact, we have video recordings and audio recordings of him giving us this information. Gail shared the recording taken by him at Nizamuddin's home in December. Who buried the body? I think it was me. You buried the body? Yeah. What do you mean you think it was you? No, it's only me. I never killed him. So how did she die? She had a heart attack? Where's the body? You buried the body. How long did it take you to dig that hole? A couple hours. Hours. Gail says the family is hopeful the Metropolitan Police will find Muriel's body so her family can finally have closure. Charlene Rampasad, CNC3 News.